Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's Feliciano Live. We're here with Dr. Edmund Barisha. He's an assistant professor here at the Feliciano School of Business in the Department of Economics. Today's topic is Trump's tax plan. Will it impact the economy? So let's start off with the questions. And as you're joining in, please feel free to ask questions and we'll get to as many questions as possible. So first question is, how, how does a Trump tax reform plan work? Okay, thank you so much, uh, Phil, for this uh, interview. I'm very happy to talk about the Trump uh, tax plan. I'm an economics professor, as you mentioned, and I teach macro, so it would be really great to talk about this. So we have a new uh, tax plan proposed by uh, President Trump, approved by the Senate, and now it has been enforced. Since uh, earlier this year, particularly January, uh, January of 2018, now people uh, should uh, see lower taxes, meaning uh, they should be paying lower taxes. That includes individuals and that includes corporations as well. Now, uh, as of right now, how the plan or how the tax plan is working is we are just going to see lower taxes in our paychecks. But to understand more how much the tax burden is changing between the new plan and the old plan, we kind of need to wait until next year. Because when we file for taxes, we are going to see our deductions changing as well. And under the new tax plan, the deduction, the, at least the standard deduction, has been increased from 12000 to 24000 for families. So to calculate the total change in tax burden from the old tax plan to the new one, people should wait until next year and see how much less they are paying in terms of taxes. And overall, my assumption is that everybody's going to be paying less. So, And that includes people at the low income in distribution and people at the upper end of the income distribution and also the corporation as well. So again, thank you everyone for joining us. We're here with Dr. Edmund Barisha. He's an assistant professor in the economics department here at the Feliciano School of Business. We're talking about the, the Trump tax reform plan that was just uh, implemented and talking about specifically how it will impact the economy. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask those questions. We'll get to as many as we can. Next question is how are individual tax rates changing? So, uh, Across the tax brackets, uh, everybody's going to be paying less, but still we have those uh, seven uh, tax brackets. They are going to hold. But if you compare them, the tax brackets in the new plan versus the old plan, the interesting thing is under the new plan has been increased. So uh, which means that uh, this is going to help more people that were at the upper end of the limit under the old tax plan. So I will bring an example. So if, you, if uh, somebody or a family was making, let's say, uh, $76,000 under the, uh, or let's say uh, uh, $77,000 under the old tax plan, they, were be, they would be on the tax bracket of 25%. Now they are going to be under the tax bracket of 12%. So people that were at the upper end on the old system, they are going to benefit a lot, but on average, everybody's going to pay 3% less. And uh, so this is going to help everybody and people are going to see more money in their hands uh, under this uh, new tax plan. So again, for those who just joined us, we're here with Dr. Edmund Barisha. He's an assistant professor in our economics department here at the Feliciano School of Business. We're talking today about the Trump tax reform plan that was implemented. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them as we go along. We'll get to as many as we can. The next question is, will taxes on the middle class increase? Now, th this is a good question. The, my uh, understanding is yes, but it requires a little bit more elaboration because, yes, the direct impact is the middle class is going to be paying less. But uh, the thing is, it depends where you live because uh, your paycheck is going to decrease. But now if you live in New Jersey and in New, New York, now, under the new tax plan, you cannot deduct more than $10,000, including local taxes, property taxes, and state taxes. And we know in New Jersey, uh, we pay a lot of property taxes, and it exceeds, for many people, it exceeds the 10000 So middle class in New Jersey is not going to benefit a lot, it's my understanding, and because uh, they cannot now deduct a lot of their taxes that they pay for their property and the state and local taxes. Whereas uh, states that have lower property taxes, uh, the middle class there will benefit relatively more. 
And also, in, I did an empirical study. I said, okay, let me understand more clearly in, an, in the empirical way how does uh, taxes affect middle class. What I did is I analyzed how the income shares of the individuals at 50% of the income distribution respond to changes in taxes. And what I found is that the effect is very minimal. Like per 1% decrease in taxes, the income share of the individuals increase only by 0.3%. So it's not a big effect. Whereas when it comes to the GDP, which captures the overall production in the country, I found that lower taxes help more. So a 1% decrease in taxes improve GDP by relatively 1.5%. And the other thing is that I want to mention here is we shouldn't just be looking at the direct effect. Because yes, we will pay less, but we should also try to understand what's happening with the overall economy. What we are observing now, prices are going up. So yes, we are paying less in terms of taxes, but prices are going up and higher prices are going to affect middle class negatively. So the overall, my impression is that yes, middle class will benefit, but not by a lot. Okay, our next question is, uh, how does a Trump tax plan affect college students? Is it positive or negative? So... When we compare across the old tax plan, meaning the one before and the new one, there, is n there are no big changes that directly will affect students. Still, the benefits that were under the old tax system will hold the, under the uh, new tax system. But my, uh, my impression is that uh, it will help students indirectly because the assumptions that under the new tax system is if we lower taxes, people are going to have more money, corporation will have more money, so people will spend more, corporation will invest more, so that will help the economy grow further. So indirectly, this will help students because once they graduate, they are going to, at least the ones that are graduating recently, they are going to be graduating in the economy that is doing relatively good. We have unemployment rate of 4.1%. This lower taxes should help even more. So. Students that are graduating this year and most likely next year, they will see a very strong labor force and that should make it easy for them to find jobs. Great. So for those who just joined us, we're taking live questions. Feel free to ask them. We actually do have one question here regarding minimum tax. Will that, uh, help, will that be positive or negative on foreign earnings? So in, in regards to the minimum tax, what uh, the new tax plan has proposed is uh, they have lowered it. So corporations that are generating uh, income outside, if they bring money back, they are going to pay uh, lower taxes. So before it was the corporate tax was 35%. Now they have decreased to 20%. And I think uh, here I have for some like intellectual property, a bit of corporation that generate income from intellectual property outside, if they bring their assets back, they are going to pay on average uh, 13%. So I think overall it's going to help and create positive incentive for businesses that have operation outside the U.S. to bring their operation in the U.S. and contribute further to the economic growth. Great. The next question is how will the government fund this new tax initiative? So uh, based on my readings and my understandings here is it's not very clearly stated. I mean, they have made a statement that the tax will pay by itself, and the assumption is if lower taxes increase economic growth, then higher economic growth means bring us higher tax revenues. So this is what it means uh, it will pay by itself. But a lot of people are uh, criticizing this uh, approach and they are saying that uh, it's, it's not going to pay by itself. It's going to add to a lot of debt for the U.S. economy. So the overall, my understanding is that uh, this new tax plan initially is going to uh, add a lot to the budget deficit and add a lot to the debt. So it's going to be debt finance instead of uh, being paid by itself. Okay, our next question is, uh, is President Trump benefiting from this tax plan? So this is just not President Trump, like everybody who is at the upper end of the income distribution, and, uh, like corporate owners, they are going to benefit, including Trump here, because corporate taxes are going down from 35 to uh, 21 percent. So that's a big drop in the corporate tra taxes. Plus, uh, we should... Uh, that's a direct benefit for President Trump because he and uh, other corporate owners will pay lower taxes. But the other indirect benefit, which kind of interests me a lot, is if businesses use this lower taxes to increase investment, and hopefully they will do that, then stock prices are going to increase. And stock, increasing stock prices is going to help uh, people that own those uh, stock uh, financial markets. And uh, based on my research, uh, the ownership of the financial market is pretty skewed. Like uh, top 5% kind of own almost 85% uh, of the financial market. Now, 
people at the top are paying less in terms of taxes. Also, if they benefit through higher stock prices, they are going to see this indirect benefit. So yes, Trump and people similar to Trump will uh, benefit a lot. Okay, so in your opinion, will this have a positive or negative impact on the U.S. economy overall? So my now, if we look at the analogy over time, in January we saw the uh, the boost in the financial markets, so uh, the overall markets improved by five percent. But right now there are a lot of things that are happening because if it was just the new tax by itself, it would have helped the economy a lot. But now we are seeing tariffs being added to uh, and uh, also the trade war being initiated with uh, sort of with uh, China so overall my understanding is uh, if lower taxes would have helped w would have occurred by itself it would have helped US economy a lot and that would have helped global economy because we need to understand if US economy does good it's going to help the other countries as well because we are a large economy if we consume or if we do uh, generate higher income here, that means we are going to consume a lot of foreign goods as well, which is going to help other foreign uh, economies. And uh, But my impression is that right now it's hard to judge because now we are seeing uh, stock prices dropping. We are at the level that we were in November. So pretty much we lost that return of uh, four months because of uh, there's a lot of uncertainty. Lower taxes means, yes, people are making more money after uh, taxes, but in the same time, people are scared what's going to happen with the debt, how we are going to pay with this debt. Are we going to see higher uh, taxes in the future? And I forgot to mention in the beginning that uh, uh, when it comes to the individual, that the new tax plan, uh, tax plan is temporary. It's going to end by the end of 2025. So by the end of the 2025, we are going to go back to the old uh, tax plan, whereas for corporation, is going to be permanently, but a lot of people are worried about that. So overall, my impression is hopefully it helps the U.S. economy grow because if U.S. economy grows, then the entire world will uh, grow as well. Great. So thank you, Dr. Barisha, for this session. Thank you all for who joined us. We'll see you next week at one o'clock. Have you. a good day. Yeah.